Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I am going to share this file on my Facebook page. I'm sorry, the picture is not very good. It's a cutout of a leaf. This is what it looks like. This is the 12-inch one, and it actually, this is 16, and I cut it out first, and it's really, really, really thin parts. So I contoured all the little parts and then actually reduced it after I contoured it, and it came out really well. So this should work. Now, if you're gonna cut it out bigger, that's fine. If you're gonna cut out smaller, you need to maybe contour those pieces. But I've already shared the file. I've already posted it under my Corel file share page under files, and it's just 12 inch leaf. Now, a little secret, I'm a woodworker, and, what, and I also cut out a box around it. So you can take it out of the laser and put the leaf back into the cavity so the parts won't break when you're sanding it, and then just take some, I use two inch painter's tape, and we're gonna draw a box, make it look like painter tape, and I'm just gonna cover up the majority of the leaf with painter's tape. Then I'm gonna flip it over, I'm gonna sand that side that's not taped. Then I'm gonna take that tape off, and I'm gonna sand the, do the exact same thing, re, re-tape it and re-sand it. Because these, these, these parts aren't really too little, but it really will help you a little bit on some other cases. This one's actually pretty strong because I contoured it. Because this one was kind of getting really thin in a couple areas. And you can change it. It doesn't have to be, you know, use this file. You could, you know, change it. I've got quite a bit of wood. And when I contoured, I got some little bitty parts. And so let's just ungroup everything. Uh, ungroup all so I can do it. And like then grab your nodes and just kind of make this piece a little bit bigger. You'd have to zoom in, grab these nodes, and just make these pieces a little bit bigger because you've got plenty of room. And then if you have eight, X7 and above, you can always use the smoothing tool, which is really a good tool. Now, one thing good about the smoothing tool, you can have it this large diameter, but as long as you're clicked on just one item, you're only gonna change that one item. So I've gone through there and kind of taken out the, the corners and, and without making it look too unnatural, but because of the fact that I contoured it, we've lost some, a little bit of stuff. Now, when lines are close together in the cut, it doesn't matter. Like that is way too close. So I'd go through there and what I, since I was doing both of them, I was actually able to change it as the other one was running. And you can move it any way you want and then grab the, the smoothing tool and click on that and just smooth that out. So interior lines don't matter. It's the exterior lines beyond the point that you need for the string. Once it's cut out, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.